Well, hello, this is Bev. Welcome to my channel, Fabulously Functional. I'm at my daughter's house uh, here with my son in love and the four babies. I came this morning because he had to take the one of the babies to the doctor. So I'm going to make this uh, jackfruit stew for her, put it in the pot. So by the time she gets home from work after a 12 hour shift from nursing today, uh, it'll be smelling good and she'll be ready to eat it. Uh, so if you hear children or you hear other voices, that's my son in love. Uh, if you hear noises, that's the dryer. Uh, and if you hear baby, I got Nevaeh in here with me. The other twin is upstairs and the other two younger ones are outside playing with their daddy. So I'm going to get started on this jackfruit. Uh, and you can look down. I'm going to turn the camera so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Okay, so in this jackfruit stew... I'm going to have carrots, onions, fresh corn on the cob, and celery. I'm going to have a little bit of parsley. I'm going to have some organic diced stew tomatoes. Some little, the dynamic duo potatoes by the little potato company. So I've got Yukon Gold potatoes, little mini potatoes, and I've also got um, red potatoes. Okay, and then I have all these other seasonings that I'm going to add to it. Got me some sunflower oil here. I'm going to heat up the pan because I like to sweat my onions and celery uh, before I put them into the pot. So I'm going to turn this on back here. I like to do that. All right, and then I'm going to start... First thing I'm going to do is take this corn off the cob. I have my little handy-dandy corn cobber here. There's no neat way to clean a cob of corn, so you just have to. And here's my son in love and my two oldest grandbabies. They're coming in. I'm making mommy her jackfruit. Her jackfruit stew. So that's one cob of corn. Now I'm going to do another cob. That's lavender. <laughs> she probably doesn't want to come in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's okay, Lavi. <laughs> Okay, so look at this beautiful corn. Cut straight from the cob. That's going to go in there. Also going to have some celery. Yes, Jackson. Yes, what's up? Oh, Daddy was playing with you with the leaf blower? Was that fun? Do you like the leaf blower? <laughs> I love the leaf blower. So this is my son-in-love, Jonathan. Jonathan, you got to come over and say hi to my YouTube family. They, they don't know you. <laughs> Not on my channel. This is my son-in-love. Hey, you too, got to bend down, Jackson. I'm too tall. He's too tall. There he is. That's Jackson's twin. No, that's Hezekiah's twin. This is who he looks like, just <laughs> like his daddy. And he's holding Lavi, of course. So I'm making Jasmine her jackfruit stew. I'm going to eat. <laughs> Y'all going to be eating for a minute because I'm making a whole pot of it. Okay, so we got celery. I've cut the corn up. Now we've got celery. The pan is getting warm over here with the sunflower oil. And I'm going to sweat my onions, my celery, and my carrots before I put them in the pot. So we're going to chop them up. This is going to cook on high in the crock pot. All day long till mama get home. And she'll be able to smell it in the garage. <laughs> or she even come in the house. But this is a wonderful soup. 
if you are vegan and you want that same kind of texture and flavor of beef stew, uh, the canned jackfruit does just as well. So this is about two stalks of celery. And as you can see, I leave some of the leaves on my celery stalks because they have lots of flavor and nutrients in them as well. So I'll leave, I leave a few of the leaves from the celery stalks on here. It just makes for a delicious um, stew. So there's the celery. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there and let it start. Let that start simmering. And do sunflower oil. And I'm going to cut up some of these carrots. And I slice them at an angle so that they turn out like this, you know, kind of oval. Makes for a beautiful presentation. I'm in carrot. Did you know that if you are tired and you need some energy, if you eat two carrots, Two carrots will give you enough energy to go about two or three more hours. The nutrients in a raw carrot. So what are you saying, Miss Beverly? Keep you a bag, a bag of little mini organic carrots during the day. And when you get tired, just pop you a handful of carrots. It'll give you a burst of energy, believe it or not. If you don't believe me, you can Google it. Now, this carrot is starting to get big. I'm going to go ahead and add my carrots in here. Let them sweat too. And this is going to be delicious. Now, this is a fatter carrot, so these are more like circles as opposed to ovals. Now, I tell you what, my grandson, he knows his shapes. He would be quick to tell me, Grandma, that's not oval, that's circle. So, when the, the carrots get fatter, they go from ovals to circles. Okay, I'm going to turn this fire up just a little bit since I've added some stuff. Okay. All right. While those vegetables are sweating, I'm just going to add a pinch of Himalayan salt. Which wakes up the flavor. And a little black pepper. Some organic black pepper. All right. Now I'm going to cut up my onion. I'm going to add the onion to the sweat vegetables. I'm doing a coarse chop because, you know, it's stew. It's not like it's a soup. It's stew. So stew, the ingredients are sort of chunky. So I'm just doing a coarse chop. I'm not going to chop it up real fine. I'm just going to loosely chop it up. And if you look at these pieces, the size of these pieces are kind of big. So... Has the guy still asleep? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so now I have my onion. Oh, you can't see the onion for the light, but it's white onion. I'm about to throw it in the pan. Put the rest in the veggies. So I have the onion, the celery, and the carrots that I'm sweating. And oh, it smells heavenly, and it looks heavenly. Now, I'm going to tell you what, this is this would make a stew, what I say. Okay? So, I'm going to let those keep simmering just for a little bit. While those are simmering, I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, my can of organic diced tomatoes. I don't know how this works because my daughter has this manual can opener. Mine is electric. But I'm about to add these tomatoes. Ooh, yummy. 
So, can of dice, stewed tomatoes. I think I'm just gonna add half of a can, not all of it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add this fresh cut corn in here. Rinse that off. thing I'm going to do is chop up these potatoes. Turn this down just a little bit. So I'm just going to cut them in half because they are petite potatoes. Um, I don't know how to open this bag, so I'm going to do it this way. <laughs> With the scissors. Love cooking in my daughter's kitchen. She's just got it set up really nice for cooking. Now, some of these potatoes are kind of big, and if they're big, then I cut them in threes. But these are these beautiful Yukon Gold potatoes. Um, and the little voice you hear there is my grandbaby, Nevea. Hello, Nevea. I should let y'all see her. But I think if I take her out, she may, she may, she may not want to get back in there. <laughs> Now, I don't know what it is, but in this dynamic duo, they gave me uh, two red potatoes <laughs> and all these Yukon Golds. So, be sure you check your bag out uh, before you uh, leave the store. I don't know why. I've never experienced that before. But I have two red potatoes, and these are supposed to be the dynamic duo. I'm supposed to have as many reds as I do Yukon Gold, but that's okay. The, the tomato in the stew is representing the red, so we're good. Okay, so I've chopped up my potatoes. I know they're probably they're pre washed, but I still like to give them a rinse. So I'm going to rinse them. There we go. Boy, that looks good. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna put my potatoes in here with the corn and the tomatoes. Y'all, this is looking real, real good. For real. Look at this sharp magic in there. Like that. Put this corn cob in there. Gather up all my little trash. Okay. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to use the same plate to chop up my parsley. I've got some parsley. I'm going to add a little bit of fresh parsley. Now, these have sweat real nice. They are translucent. Translucent means, you know, they're getting kind of clear looking, but look at that. Look at that. So I'm not going to, now I'm going to add all that right into there. With the stew. Oh my goodness. Boy, that looks good. You know what? I think I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit more of the red tomato. Stew tomatoes. Now, I'm going to take about uh, maybe a handful of parsley. It's already been washed clean and chop it up like so, like that. This parsley smells so good, y'all. Okay, now I'm gonna put all that in there. Okay, got the parsley in there. Sorry, I got bottles and sippy cups. <laughs> I don't typically have this when I'm cooking in my kitchen, but that's part of being grandma. Okay, so I'm done with the parsley. I'm going to set that to the side. 
done with this. Just going to stuff all of that in there. Okay. Alright, now we got some organic vegetable stock that we're going to add. Add that as well. Ooh, yum yum. And this is a this is a 32 ounce 32 ounce vegetable stock. What's a matter? What's a matter? Pardon me for a minute. Hold your mule just for a minute. Okay, I'm back. I had to get in the van, a little bottle there. So, I added, this is 32 ounces of vegetable organic broth that I added to that. Now, here comes all these wonderful seasonings. And I'm going to do all this before I add that beautiful jackfruit that I want you to see. So, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. I'm measuring in the palm of my hand. Uh-oh. He's not getting his milk out. Oh, okay. okay, sorry about that. So Himalayan salt, garlic powder, organic garlic powder. And I'm going to say about a teaspoon of that, a teaspoon of that, a teaspoon of basil leaves, organic basil leaves, put that in there, uh, some rosemary, rosemary, just a tidbit of rosemary in there. Uh, two bay leaves. And I hope my baby girl remember to find these bay leaves in here. But two bay leaves. Hopefully she'll find them. <laughs> I'll tell her, look for the bay leaves, Jasmine. But they add so much flavor. Okay, so rosemary times. Uh, did I put the thyme in there? Ooh, a little bit of thyme. So I put rosemary. I put some thyme, about a, a fourth of a teaspoon of rosemary, a fourth of a teaspoon of thyme, and then I have my cocoa aminos, my liquid coconut aminos, um, and this is about in here, I think I've got about a half a cup, so I'm going to pour the entire bottle in here. Not the entire bottle, the entire rest of the bottle. I'm going to add a little bit more black pepper. Okay, and so those are my seasonings. Then I'm going to add this beautiful jackfruit. I want you to see it. I'm going to pour the juice off of it. They soak it, and when it comes in a can, it's in brine. But when you see it, it's going to look something like pieces of meat. So here's the jackfruit. Um, and so what I do is I break it up with my hand like that. I'm just breaking it up with my hand. And right now it looks like chicken. <laughs> but once it soaks in this broth and cooks for a while, it's going to be looking like little pieces of beef. All right, just little pieces of meat. But the texture, as you can see, and the way it looks, it looks just like meat. But it's jackfruit. One day, I'm going to do like Tabitha. Or you can go to Tabitha Brown and then go to Tabitha Brown's page and she'll, she'll show you a, a, a live-sized jackfruit. She'll cut it up in front of you. And she eats it. She says it's a very sweet fruit. But once it's been sitting in brine here, it's not very sweet fruit. <laughs> so... Uh, I'm not going to venture out to try and taste it now, but I am, now that I've broken it all up, 
any little pieces. Okay, so there's the jackfruit. And I'm going to add that to this magnificent pot of stew. Okay, I'm get ready to stir it up. And I'm gonna let you see it, let you see what it looks like. It's gorgeous and it's beautiful. I won't be able to get none until Monday because I'm off tomorrow and I'm off. I won't be grandma on Saturday or Sunday. But, oh my goodness, y'all. Okay, so let me show this to you before I turn the pot on and it get hot. Okay, so there it is. There it is, y'all. And look at all those juices with all those spices. You've got your potatoes and your tomatoes and your fresh corn and your celery, your onion, your parsley, your jackfruit, your carrots. Man, this is, this is gonna be smelling so good. So I'm gonna put it on high and wipe off all of the drippings and whatnot. I'm gonna put it on high, put that lid on, plug it up and let it do its thing. Let's see what it's like. like so, like that. So, that is the jackfruit. And I'll, Jasmine, I have to get her to come on and tell y'all about it. She have to do a video and then I'll upload it onto my channel to tell y'all about this uh, jackfruit stew. I've made it once before. I put some extra stuff in it before when I did it on my channel. But this time I did a little different, just kind of found out the kind of things that she likes and wants in there. But this, I mean, you know what, I just, I just want to taste the juice. Now that I've stirred it a little bit, I want to taste the juice. Y'all, they gonna love this. <laughs> it ain't even cooked yet. Um, but... If you and the only right, the only reason I can taste the juice is because I don't have any meat products in here. Nothing in here um, has uh, meat, and so I'm able to taste the juice. If I had meat in there or any kind of animal, anything, I wouldn't be trying to taste the juice. But um, so I'm done, and. Before I go, I want to introduce you to my granddaughter, my youngest granddaughter, Nevada. She's being such a good girl. Hezekiah is upstairs asleep. And the other two have gone on a bicycle and a stroller walk with their daddy. So I'm sure when they get back, they're going to be ready to go to take that nap. And Grandma going to get ready to go home to Papa and um, begin cooking my orders for uh, this weekend. I may get a little nap in. <laughs> Cause it's, it's been a, it's been a very busy morning for me, but I love it. Absolutely love hanging out with my grandbabies. Nevada, you wanna say hi? hi. You wanna say hi? Ah. Come on, let's say hi to the people. Let's say hi. Come on. Okay. 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 So I want y'all to see this little ham hock right here. This is Nevaeh. This is Miss Nevaeh. Say hi, Nevaeh. This is my precious little Nevaeh. This is uh, Hezekiah's twin sister. Hezekiah's a whole nother color. Say, I vanilla and he chocolate. Yes. Say hi, Nevaeh. Say hi, Nevaeh. This is my precious Nevaeh. Oh, Grandma. Oh, Grandma, I love you. One day you be in the kitchen cooking with me, huh? Huh? Say bye bye to the people. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. So, um, 
hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, and maybe I'll come back on later the, on this weekend to do some more cooking or something with you. But uh, Numbers 624, 25 and 26, the Lord is blessing you and keeping you. The Lord is making his face to shine upon you. And he's being oh so gracious unto you. The Lord has his face turned towards you. And he's giving you peace. Amen. Amen. Say bye bye. Now. Say bye. Say bye. The sun is shining so beautifully today. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this shit light on my baby. Yes. Yes. Okay. Bye bye.